This is a white woman, Virginia Steen McIntyre. Dr. McIntyre is a geologist. She found evidence of humans in Mexico, Huatlico. This is the site. This is Mexico. Now, remember I said if you find evidence of humans in North America or South America before 20,000 years, it starts throwing darts, all right, at evolution. So check it out. Dr. McIntyre dated the site using four types of dating, all right, four different types to 250,000 years ago. They found evidence of hunting, evidence of tools, evidence of things that only modern humans could make, all right? Animal bones with butchering marks, and these animal bones were on camels. 250,000 years? Look, look at, the, look at the type of dating she used. Uranium series dating, all right? And this was on a camel bone. Now, ask yourself a question. The camel that you find in North Africa, Middle East, right. what, uh, East Africa, don't you know that the camel originated in the Americas, the oldest camels? How did, how, did, how did these animals, how did the, these animals get across a whole sea? Who brought them? You see what I'm saying? These are old animals. The falcon that you find as a zoomorphic form in Egypt. The falcon, the oldest falcon fossils are in Utah. How do you get that? But the, look, she got fired. She got fired for doing this. Look at her. Get her name. You can look her up. She's online telling you how she got fired. Mm. Because she wouldn't take the dates and put them within the evolution period. She's like, I'm not doing it. This is a professional geologist. I'm not a professional geologist. Ankh's not a professional geologist. She had to go to school. She had to go learn how to do these, uh, these half-life dating systems. She had to go into higher mathematics to do all this stuff. She brought the report back. She was happy. Like, damn, this is a great find. Look at what we got. Look at what we got. Those white folks like, no, we don't. When we first began to work on the Wayat Lago site, we thought we had an old site. This was back in 66, and we thought it was perhaps 20,000 years old. And at that time, that was considered a very old age for the site. We did what they call radiometric dates, which gives an actual date range. And we used two different methods to do that. One was using uranium uh, atoms, another one was using little zircon crystals. When we finally got the dates and all the different methods we used to date it, it came out to be 250,000 years old. To tell you the truth, I would have been happy with a 20,000-year-old date. It would have made my career. It was very old for the time, but it wasn't so old that it was that controversial. People can take 20,000-year steps. They can't take steps that are over 200,000 years at one time. And I was rather naive. I thought, okay, we've got something big here, but I'm just going to stick with the date. We've got the information. We've got the facts. Let's get the facts out and go on from there. And I didn't realize it was going to ruin my whole career. According to Dr. McIntyre, because she stuck to the facts, all of her professional opportunities were closed off. She's not worked in her chosen field since. The site was closed and permission for further investigation was denied forever. That's the primary report. It never, make it, to, it never made it to the secondary literature. So they got to cover that up because that represents the original man all over the planet. You see what I'm saying? She got all these dating methods. She even dated the volcanic ash. All right. And then she summarized the find and said that using the four radiometric dating methods, she dated the site to 250,000 years ago. The primary data never made it to textbooks. She don't have a textbook out with the primary data. She had to go online and use YouTube and use people who was interested in her story to try to get it out because she got ostracized. That's what I call white science. White science even attacks white scientists who try to tell the truth. So you got one white scientist trying to tell the truth. You got other white scientists like, oh, she don't even know how the game get played. She don't even know. She's so enthused. Let's, let's, let's make her have a seat. She need to have a seat because we need to what? Keep people believing in this. So what I'm trying to say is, this is what white people did to us. They made us fight against each other based on continents. You know that? So now, it's Africa versus, versus America. They named that. We never named no Africa or no America. It was the earth and black people. That's it. So now, they got, they, we creating these little turf wars, and it's their classifications that's making us fight each other. Everywhere you see black people on the planet, that's your brother and your sister. So are you saying that America, are you saying that America is older than Africa? No. 
I'm saying America and Africa are fake. I'm saying that the earth is the earth. Period. That's it. That's what I'm saying. I agree with you. Right. And so now names wasn't even in existence. Right. Planets and uh, excuse me, uh, continents then shifted and changed over time. And we've been on all of them. So we don't listen. Here's the reality. We don't know where the first humans walked around. If it was on one continent, we just know we're here. Now we can go into some stuff and start theorizing. You know what I mean? Because we looking. So white folks throw us this curveball. They don't want you to claim the earth. They want you to set trip on each other. You African and you American. Or you African American and you African. And you this and you that. And you fuck that. We're going to tell you who we are. We know who you are. We got that part. So once we got that part, we good. We, we, don't, we don't need to argue about nothing else. You know how many textbooks they got with this bullshit in it? If somebody come out with fines, they got to burn all them textbooks. They got to put all that away. They got to update all the information. They got to tell your children the truth. They don't want to do that. It's about control. Now they're controlling black power people. Like, what happened? What happened? Oh, he got science now and he can teach the God? Of course we can share information. But I think our shit is much better. I think it's